This is Joe Delio from the Live Community bringing you the fourth chapter in the Software NGFW Credit video series, Registering and Deactivating Software Firewalls, presented by Wakas Nazir. I'll hand you off to Wakas now. In this video, we will register and deactivate software firewalls for the Software NGFW Credits. Once you've logged in and navigated down to the Software NGFW Credit page, uh, you will see the amount of deployment profiles you have created, as well as how much of the credits has been allocated. To see more details, just click on the Detail button. Here, you can see that we have two profiles created, one for the VM, one for the CN. But now that we want to actually register a software firewall, we would click on the three buttons here, which says More Options and click on the button that says register firewall. For firewalls that can reach the CSP, we can use the auth code on firewall or panorama to register them directly. You have the ability to upload your UUID and CPUID as a file, but in this scenario, we will just enter in the information manually. Here, we will type in our UUID number as well as our CPUID number the number of vCPUs, we'll say four, and the amount of memory that we would like for it, which will be in, now that we have input all that information in, we need to click on the PanOS release number. So we will select 11.0.4, as well as the virtual platform that we are going to have this running on. So we will select, for this scenario, Amazon AWS, and we will click on the button Submit. Now we have successfully registered a software firewall. As you can see here, as well as this shows you how many of these CPUs we have consumed or allocated. And therefore, even our consume number has changed as well. So let's register another firewall. Similar process as before, by entering in UUID number, as well as our CPUID number, as well as the number of vCPUs and the memory that we want for it. Again, we have to select the PanOS release. So we will select 12.0.9 uh, for this one. And then we will select our uh, virtual platform in this scenario to be Google Cloud Platform. And then we will hit Submit. And we have again successfully registered a firewall, as you can see here by the number of firewalls deployed, which is two, versus the four that we had planned. And then we have 10 vCPUs consumed versus the 16 that are allocated. So now I would like us to deactivate a software firewall. Again, you would click on three buttons and then click on deactivate firewall. And here you get to choose which of the two that you would like to deactivate. So last time we created was this one, so we will select this and click on deactivate firewall. And we will get this warning message to remind us that once a firewall is deactivated, it cannot be restored. So we are sure, so therefore we will just click on deactivate firewall. This could take a few seconds. There you go. We have successfully deactivated a firewall. As you can see that now the number has gone down to one from two. And, it's, and the vCPUs have gone down from 10 to 6. Now that we've registered a firewall and also deactivated a firewall, to delete a profile, you'd click on delete, but you must remove all of the firewalls that are associated to that profile before the delete option can be executed. And you therefore, you would have to deactivate all of the remaining firewalls. One of the things that I want to bring to your attention is when you click on View Devices, it will take you to the Software NGFW device page, which will show you the exact device that's associated to that profile. And when we scroll back to the dashboard, but if you wanted to see all the devices that are associated to, to the NGFW credits, you would just click on Devices and you would see all of them. But in this scenario, because we only have one firewall, that is why we only get to see one. 
Thanks for class for explaining all about registering and deactivating the software firewalls. Up next is going to be Chapter 5, Using Credits for Panorama Management. Don't miss that one, as well as all the other chapters in the Software NGFW Credits video series. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.